Hello everyone, my name is Andre McClendon and today I'm going to be talking about how to program the alligator indicator. Now the alligator indicator is basically three moving averages that are kind of, you know, offset that a lot, that shows you a trend to get into or stay out of a trend. Now, it's very uh, easy to use this indicator, very simple to program. I'm going to go through it step by step on a uh, full trading expert advisor. So if you have any questions or comments, guys, drop them below and I will go very slow and uh, Let's begin, guys. First off, click out Meta Quotes right here. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the new, and we're going to go to uh, new expert advisor. Hit next, we're going to name this robot. Yep, we're going to name it Alligator Trader. Okay. Hit next, next, finished, and we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom to the on tick. Okay. Now, guys, this is going to be a lot of. Uh, code coming at you guys but I'm gonna go step by step so before we start our indicators we're gonna need some ints some INTs prior to starting okay and it's gonna make it easier so when, when you guys want to adjust it so uh, our first off we get three lines we're gonna they're called the jaws the teeth and the lips so they are gonna be look like this right here going back to MetaTrader we're gonna zoom in so the lips is the green okay the red is called the teeth and the blue is called the jaw now typically when you want to enter in a buy trade the green is above the red and the red is above the blue now you guys can offset it and change it up if you desire but this is a beginner trading video from mql4 so you guys can get that okay very simple so we want the green line above the red line and then above the blue line in this type of pattern. When that does happen, we want to initiate a buy as long as it does that for three candles. Okay? Or two candles, I believe. But let's get into it. So now we got our trader open right here. I'm oh, sorry, our meta quotes open. And first thing we need to do is incorporate our, our slow line. That's going to be our blue line. Okay? And right, we're going to go over here. So first off, our blue line is going to be called Jaws Zero. We're going to look at, at it on the, z the candle zero. That's how I name it as. And we're going to please we're going to place a double. So all that's going to indicate is it writing uh, it as a uh, non-whole number. Okay. We're going to call it I Alligator, and that's going to be default code for the getting the alligator uh, trader. I'm sorry, the alligator indicator. And just hit F1 if you want to find more details. It basically will break it out what it means. Okay. And first off, we're going to use null. Null is going to allow us to basically be a default or run on all of the currency pairs. We're going to use zero for our time period. Okay. And then our next thing is going to be our jaws period. Now, our jaws, remember, is going to be our slower moving average, basically. We're going to use it on. We, our shift is basically where you're going to place it at. Our shift is going to be zero we want a current candle our period okay is going to be for our teeth and our teeth is going to be eight again and this is going to be zero for our shift too okay and that's going to be for the teeth and our lips are going to be also uh period five and our shift is going to be zero now you guys can change this part up this is called of uh, the mode now it's going to be simple moving average. If you hit F1, you guys can use uh, exponential, smooth, or linear weighted, depending on which one you use. But for this robot, we're going to use moving average. Okay, simple moving average. Our next one's going to be on the price close. You guys can change that up to uh, here. You, you, know, you guys can do price open, price high, price low, median, typical, or price weighted. It's up to you guys. Or instead of using these words, you can use numbers. And we're going to use this on mode uh, gator jaw because all these are going to indicate one candle back to one zero current candle, one candle back and two candles back. Okay. And we're going to also change the name too. Our next thing is we're going to put in our medium line. Now, if you guys look at it very closely, they're going to be very similar in code. Okay. So our medium is going to be uh, you go our red line. Same double, we're gonna call it teeth, underscore zero one, we're gonna call it alligator, everything's the same. 
up until this part here. We're gonna call it mode, motor teeth, motor teeth, mode, uh, mode getter teeth, my bad, mode getter teeth. One and two. And make sure you verify with the name too so we don't get confused, okay? And our next line is gonna be our fast line, okay? Now our fast line is basically our green line right here, okay? And on our green line, we're gonna verify that our the, it's gonna be called lips, cool, zero, one, and two. Everything else is the same, except for mode gator lips, mode gator lips, mode gator lips, one and two. Once we have all of those, we have our indicators right now, and now we're gonna get to our bull statement to basically get our trade ready, okay? So let's get that out. We're gonna call this uh, bull statement bull alligator. Now, bull alligator, if true, and we have a couple lines of code that's going to be pretty hefty on this one right here. Basically, our lips on candle zero has to be greater than our teeth, and the teeth has to be greater than the jaws, and the lips have to be greater than the jaws. As long as that is true, and the ask price is greater than all three of these things, and if we go back one candle, the lips is greater than the teeth, the teeth greater than the jaws and the lips are greater than the jaws and one candle back before that so two as long as that's true alligator should be true our next thing is we're going to be adding our if statement to see if this is uh to, i'm sorry to uh get our buy statement to happen if the alligator is true our bull statement and our orders total equals zero then we can execute our trade we're going to use an int basically to get our ticket number. Our buy order is what we're going to call this trade. We're going to call it order send. And if you guys want details about that, double click it, hit F1, give you all the details. Now, if you guys want this uh, also to work on our current experience, we know we use OP buy. And OP buy basically is going to be an instant execution buy. But if you want to change that, you guys can use OP buy, OP sell. But if you use pending orders, remember you guys got to change your uh, pending numbers uh, order uh, spot, okay? Our lot size is 0 0.01. We're going to run it on the ask. Our slippage is going to be 1, so if it's too much happening, we're still going to execute the order. Our stop loss is going to be ask minus 0.5. And what that means, guys, is that it's going to be ask minus 50 pips because we're going to be running this on pound yen. And then we're going to also run it on the uh, ask plus point, uh, 2.0. And that's basically 200 pips. And we're going to, uh, for our order comm, it's going to be null. And for our buy, I'm sorry, our magic number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our color for our pending order is going to be 0. And we're going to be uh, color green. And if it all happens, we're going to hit print buy order took place. We're going to compile this. There are no errors. And now we're going to go back to MetaTrader. Now find alligator trader, whatever you named it as. And go in here. We're going to use pound yen every tick. And make sure it's paused prior to starting. So we're going to add and incorporate our stuff on there first, okay? Now hit start. And if it, also, I will be on the one hour at on the spread of five, okay? Now it might take some time to load, guys, so be patient. But make sure it's on pause so when it starts, we can add our stuff prior to it starting. So you guys can get a visualization of what's happening, okay? And this will help you a lot more when it comes to strategy testing. So we find our indicator right here, alligator. We are going to drag it on there. We already know our numbers. It's going to be, uh, our shift's going to be zero. Oh, sorry, control Z. And we're going to be smooth, or simple, and apply to the close. Make sure you got all that, hit OK. So this is how it looks. We're going to hit F8, change our colors a little bit, make it a little bit easier for us. Now you guys can change it if you guys want to, like these uh, colorizations. You guys can make it thicker right here. And then hit OK. So you guys make it look like this. It's up to you guys. But now we're going to run the robot and see what happens. So see, we now we get the value that is true. So it happened right here. And now we enter our trade. So let's see what happens. We did it again right here. See how it entered in true our, for our bull statement. And we entered in. And let's see what happens. Oh, we're true again right here, and it just keeps on going. Now, this is a very simple way to program an alligator uh, trading robot. Now, it's not meant to make profit. Just show you an example of how to program it, guys. So, if you guys want to use this code, 
please do. It's on my website. And if you also want to learn more about the uh, other indicators or trading robots, just check out the playlist, guys, or check out the uh, on my website. It's all going to be on there. But if you have any questions or comments, again, guys, drop a comment below. I'll get to you. I like to have conversations about trading and indicators and, and also expert advisors. And uh, that's it, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.